Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick Assassin's Creed Mirage video. And in this one, we're going to be going over this mission called The Calling. Now, once you guys get into this chambers, you're going to need to actually go and collect 10 shards. Now, you're, they don't really expect you to have all 10 of these shards on you when you get in here. So don't worry. It's not like you've missed out or anything like that. This is just a mission which takes a very, very long time. It's not really meant to be completed straight away. So once you guys have access to The Calling and you have come down here into the chamber, you can then get started on collecting the shards. Now, there's going to be a bunch of different times that you can go and deposit the shards. You can deposit two at a time, three, and then finally six at the end. Now, these mysterious shards are scattered all around the map, but if you go into your map, luckily it will tell you guys at least where you can find some of them. So as you drag your cursor around different named locations or different towns, you'll notice that there are different mysterious shards in each section of the map. So in every section of the map, you can actually hover over the named location and you'll see how many mysterious shards are in that location and which ones you've collected and which ones you haven't. So as you scroll around all these different locations, you'll at least have a good starting point on where you can get started on looking. Now I will show you guys a few clips of me collecting these shards, but I don't think they're all in the same location every single time and I'll explain why in just a second. So mysterious shards are only found on NPCs. You do have to actually either pickpocket them or kill them in order to steal their mysterious shard. Now a mysterious shard will pop up when you are in a town. It will only pop up when you're in town. I've never found one just like roaming around in between villages or anything like that. So what you want to do is go to your to around to the different named locations until you find a section of the map which still has mysterious shards in it. Once you guys have found a section of the map that you haven't collected a mysterious shard in, you want to go to that section of the map and find the nearest big town where you'll find people walking around. Now, once you guys do go into that big town, you should see an icon on your radar of the mysterious shard. Now, every single time that you go to a new town that doesn't that you haven't collected a shard in, there should be at least one there right away, and you'll be able to find it so simply by opening up your minimap when roaming around the town. So this is how I was able to get my hands on about five or six of these shards in only about an hour. So once you guys have found a mysterious shard inside of one of the towns, just be on the lookout for this icon on your radar. Once you find this icon, that is where the mysterious shard will be located. But keep in mind, it is located on one of the NPC characters, so it will be moving around as they walk. So basically what you have to do, is, like I said earlier, is just either take them out or pickpocket them. And from that point, you want to go to a new town so that you can go and get a mysterious shard in a location that you haven't found it in yet. So you will have to go around the map quite a bit in order to actually get your hands on these shards. I suggest just keeping the quest in your inventory while you go around completing other quests because you will stumble across these shards pretty easily as you roam around from town to town just simply completing the story missions. Now once you guys do have enough shards to turn in, it will pop up with a notification letting you know that you can go back to the oasis and actually turn those in. So I am very quickly going to go collect a few more shards and I'll show you guys the method I used to collect them one more time. So basically all I did was open up my map. I found a section of the map that said I still hadn't collected shards in. Then I took my horse there and I opened up my mini map again until I could find the closest town, basically the closest area that has a bunch of buildings in it and people walking around. Now as I take my horse into this brand new town I've never even been into before, You'll notice how fast I'm able to find one of these shards because I was only in this town for about a minute and the shard was just waiting for me when I got there. So it's really, really not that hard. They're not tucked away and really hidden like all that crazy, but you will have to do quite a bit of traveling in order to actually get them. Now, once you guys do get to these locations, as you can see, I, got, I walked in the location, automatically got the shard popped up on my map. But if you look on your map, there's actually going to be a few more collectibles that you can get all at the same time. So if you guys are already here, you might as well go ahead and collect these other two as well. So there's going to be Enigmas, Mysterious Shards, and then the Artifacts as well. So if you ever see any of those three, I highly suggest just going ahead and collecting them when you see them. Because you will need them later on during the game, even if you don't have the quest for them just yet. So hopefully that helps you guys out. All you have to do is simply rinse and repeat this method until you have enough shards to go turn into the oasis or until you've collected all of them. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Check out the channel for any future Assassin's Creed help and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.